And so now this one is the trickiest one of all of them. Uh, hopefully I can remember how to do this one. Because there are some secrets you got to activate in this level that are annoying. Um, so you go through all four seasons, and that kind of gives you an indication of your progress when you get to the next season. There's also entrances to trees that either take you forward to the next season, or if I go in the wrong one, will take me all the way back. Crazy flying head guy. It's funny, I was playing the Japanese version, and I saw that demon head, and I was like, oh, I wonder what that got changed to in the American version. And then, no, they it was just a demon head still. It's kind of weird. And that weird thing. Alright, do I want this one? I think I do. No, that takes me right back. Okay. I think it's actually almost the case that it's never the first one in any of these. Okay. Mm. Hoping to find a hidden health item somewhere. Pretty early on, we're gonna find these uh, pair of bears that throw rocks at you. They're really strong, and they can take a lot of health off, and they're yet another Alice in Wonderland thing that they got rid of. Um, it was actually Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and they turned them into two bears. Really weird. I think they'll come up soon. More demon heads. They just fly right off the screen. They'll follow you around, they're really annoying if they... if you can't get rid of them that fast. Whoa, and that was a pig. Oh, jeez. I want to keep up my health as best I can. Because I'm guaranteed to mess up a couple times in this woods. Oh, what are you? Give me something good. Okay, let's see what you are. Alright, we're in the third one. There's theirs. Those were originally Tweedledee and Tweedledum. How weird. Let's see... I don't remember which one to go in. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, yeah. Not only are they really hard, but if they hit you, they kill you instantly. Where's it start me from? Oh, good, okay. I forgot about that part. Instant death. Not fun. And those rocks they throw really hurt, too. And they kind of come at you. They keep on advancing at you, so eventually they're going to touch you if you don't kill them fast enough. Wish I remembered. Whoa. Oh, good, got some health. Another reason that it's nice to have mini, uh, mini's power up, because you can kill things twice as fast. I think I go on this one? Yes, okay. Almost there. And this one's kind of interesting, because you actually have to go around. If you don't go in any of the doors, the levels loop around. And in this one, you actually have to loop around, and then the door will be there on the second time around. Kind of weird. I was hoping to get another invincibility item or something before I fight those bears again. Looks like it's not being that nice, though. Oh, jeez. Come on. There we go. Oh, we got a health power. That's nice. They are being very generous. Ah, and it's this guy, he's so annoying. And you can't get rid of him, he just keeps on dive bombing you. There we go. Who are you? No thank you. I'm not going through you. That takes me back, I think, to the first stage of the woods. Don't want that. Ah! There we go. Right after the start, there's a new entrance. 
And I think they call it in this in this version of the game, they call it the Deep Woods or whatever, but you can clearly see this is the garden from Alice in Wonderland. And this is where you'd fight the caterpillar in the Japanese version. But we'll be fighting a tiny dragon. Or, I mean, he's big to us, but... He would be tiny, I guess. Alright, come on, I gotta find some more health power-ups or something. Because we're gonna fight those bear guys again. There we go, what we got? Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Oh, it's gonna go away before I fight the bird pairs. I think I fight him again. Maybe just inch closer. Ooh, there's another thing there. What do we got? Hmm. Didn't need that one. stuff going on. Oh man, I'm not on full health here. So the trick to the caterpillar, or I'm sorry, the dragon, is um, you gotta jump up and hit him in the head. He's gonna throw rings at you, and you just gotta once again go all out because he advances quickly at you, and if a boss touches you, it's instant death. So you have very little time to actually kill this thing. Let's go. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, where does it start me from? Okay, that's not so bad. And there weren't any bears in this level, I thought there were. Or this part of the level. But I really wish I didn't lose so much energy on the way to fighting that thing. Plant guys. Ooh! Wow, one up and full health recovery. That is nice. Let's not waste that. Let's go for it. Ah! Am I still invincible? I'm not gonna try. There we go. Phew, okay, the woods is down. Next is the pirate ship. And here we are at the pirate ship. Man, those signs are huge. Just realized that. The scale is really weird. Alright, so the pirate ship. This is only four screens long, but these enemies are really annoying. And pretty strong. As soon as I get down there, that guy will run like crazy back and forth. Ooh, mini. There you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's so handy sometimes. All right, let's go. And this guy just kind of go all the way. There we go. I wonder if I can get her to go down again. Oh, that was a really good trick you did for me. Well, maybe I can just run through. There we go. Now, Minnie, if you could just jump up there, come on. Do that thing. Come on. There we go. Nice. And actually, that's the same trick we're going to do against the boss. Peg Leg Pete. Minnie, go up there and do your thing. Come on. Ah, come on. No, no, not Paul. No. Come on. There we go. He's only vulnerable in the head, which is right where his uh, daggers are coming out of, so it's actually really tough. And Pirate Ship is down. And we're on to the last level next. 